What's going on, everybody? I just want to get on here and uh, bring everybody back to uh, now. <laughs> Appreciate y'all being here and uh, vibing with me for a bit. Um, yeah, I just want to talk about some things. Been kind of hitting my uh, attention, my radar, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and it has to do with like um, letting go of a lot of the, uh, the kind of victim mentality, you know, which is a uh, you know set of programming that's you know not necessarily helpful. In a lot of ways, it's um, actually perpetuating a cycle of just reactivity. And so, um, yeah, I wanted to help, um, you know, share some some things that have been helpful for me to uh, shake free of that, you know, which has been a process, you know, because I spent so many years down like the uh, the rabbit hole of like uh, like the New World Order shit and just um, Illuminati shit and just like you know all these things of like the they, <laughs> you know that. Um, you know, it, it has like kind of gone full circle, you know, to a point now where, you know, I, I don't look at any uh, type of you know, elite, uh, you know, group of anybody, you know, having any type of control over me. And, um, you know, it's a really freeing feeling. And I wanted to share that, um, that freedom, you know, uh, with you guys too. So you can kind of vibe in that space and, um, you know, not be uh, reactive to the, uh, the illusion, <laughs> the Maya, as the Buddhists would call it, you know, just the uh, the external kind of. Uh, mainly, you see a lot of it through the media, you know, and, and through a screen, and um, very little actually in you know, just in my personal space, you know, as I'm just navigating in the uh, in the moment in my my community, just doing um, you know doing handyman work, doing music, or doing anything really in particular, um, without the uh, the stories in the mind. It's just another day, <laughs> and and the more uh, still and present, and the uh, kind of like the in your environment and in your in your space, you start to become. The more and more you start to realize that, um, you know, the inner situation that you got going on, um, it is the real uh, root of a lot of the uh, stuff that you're experiencing out here. And as you start to tackle mostly the fears and. Um, you know, face them, and, and really the antidote to fear is um, faith. As you uh, start to build your faith, and um, it, you know, it, it starts to. Um, I don't, it, it's hard to explain, like, explain, but it starts to like push out, you know, and and like um, people in your surroundings start to uh, to change, and it could be you know a perception change, but you know, I'm, I've seen it from like a full scale, just like uh, kind of felt like a satanic Truman show to to now. Or it's, it's just like um, you know, pretty heavenly actually in a lot of different ways. You know, it's funny because um, you know a lot of that has to do with doing the the inner work in yourself. And um, you know, I get reminded quite a bit. You know, just like biblically, you know, of like the uh, the kind of the uh, the sin of Adam, basically. You know, of like giving the uh, the power to the external. And in like um, you know, looking at like Jesus as like the remedy, where you know starts points you towards the kingdom of God within you, and you know seeking that really. And um, as, as you're doing now, you know it's a whole process of you know what I've found to be a lot of letting go. You know, letting go of a lot of these assumptions, um, these limiting beliefs that um, you, know, you carry in your being that have been you know put on you, have been programmed either by your your parents, your your, uh, your society, school, you know all these different types of um, environments, you know which you know even through experience. I mean, you can you know experience a lot of these things, and almost like like reinforces um a f like um the fear. You know, if you're navigating in a mindset of fear, separation, scarcity, you know all of these different things, and you believe that to be real, you know it it. it starts to push out you know and, and it's like it starts to reinforce oh you know and it gets stronger and stronger and it could be moving you in a more fearful direction or it could be moving you in a more you know love-based direction and so you know having this idea you know of like um you know this learned helplessness you know which is you know a pretty common you know theme i feel like in in, in some of the stuff that's you know going on in in the in the world, at least in, in uh, this culture, you know, where I'm at, you know, where it's like, um, you, you know, you, you have this issue and then, then you run to some external 
um, maybe government or you know some sort of external authority figure to solve your problems. <laughs> you know, when a lot of the time, probably every, almost in every scenario, most of those problems that you, that are coming out here externally and affecting you that you're reacting to, so much of it stems from these the inner the inner world your thoughts your beliefs your assumptions your um your stuff and 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 as you start to let go of these things as you start to do this inner work you know ask believe receive you know you'll you'll start getting help to get you out of these cycles you know but as you get out of the cycles then then all of a sudden you start to see a new perception start to cement more and more in your in your bubble in your in your in your day-to-day -day situation and the thing of it is is like the more you become just aware of what's happening in your immediate like surroundings <laughs> the more you start to connect with um you know, how orchestrated everything is you know for one and how symbolic and metaphorical all these things really are it almost becomes like a language that you can start to slowly or maybe speedily <laughs> start to pick up on the, you know, the more and more you're not in your mind but actually just in um in your bubble in your space in your reality and your perception you know all these labels but you know you know what i'm saying you know if you're if you're not in your mind it, it almost starts becoming more and more game like your um your experience and, and like um you know for, for my uh for my you know self i you know, i can testify to the fact you know it's like you know the limits of what um you know were in uh, my kind of consciousness what i thought was possible every day is 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 seeing you know, that's just a shadow. You know, it's like everything is possible. Nothing, nothing is beyond reach. But it's a process of going kind of through these cycles. You know, where uh, you know maybe there's a desire uh, to do something in particular. You know, and instead of trying to do it through like the old way of doing things, you know, through force, through sheer effort and um, self-will, <laughs> yeah, you know, which I have done, you know, with like music, you know, specifically, you know, when I was like going on that, you know, just doing that professionally. Yeah, you know, I started doing that during like the first recession. You know, a lot of people uh, in my space were like thought I was nuts and and everything else. But you know, I had this like golden opportunity because I got fired from a job, you know, which was actually you know not really even my fault. You know, it was like a sales job, and and like I, no matter what, you know, it's like couldn't hit these sales goals. You know, they're just ridiculously high, and um, you know, in my opinion, they're rid ridiculously high, and and, and like the, also the the opinion of like the unemployment. <laughs> Uh, you know, personnel that I had to, you know, I went through all these different steps to even get that, you know, because like the, uh, the person I was working for, you know, I, I respect that person, you know, she was like a, she taught me a lot, you know, about, you know, just kind of mindsets, you know, just by kind of observing the way she was like dealing with, you know, running a business and, and stuff like that. And so I have like no hard feelings or anything about why she did what she did. But like, uh, she was always like, uh, protecting margin land, <laughs> you know, but like, um, you know, so I figured it was something, something like that would happen. But like, you know, she fought like every step of the way, you know, the, to fight that just unemployment claim or whatever, but I ended up getting it and like, um, you know, using that as like basically some seed money to just, okay, well, you know, I got this, you know, it was perfect opportunity. I think it's also, you know, looking back, you know, it's, a bridge of inch uh, bridge of incidents you know but like um i didn't recognize that at the time and like um you know so i started doing music and and like um it, it's, it's so so crazy you know some 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 of these things you just start to to once you go for it you know I, I was like concerned you know especially when it was like running out the unemployment it's like oh you know am i going to be able to because you know, i had you know a family and everything you know gonna try to provide for and it was it was crazy you know, how just seeing once you'd like jump in and just go for a you know you know the opportunities the sales that god just started providing and and like um you just start seeing it more and more and it's like to the point now where it's like i you know, do the music still but then i also do handyman work and and like um I see it with my customers and everything else, and, and it's like through all these cycles of um, 
basically growing faith, you know, seeing that God gives the opportunities and, and that, um, you know, just going out and just by sheer effort and, and like, learn, you know, basically applying what I learned in college and, and stuff like that it was, it was actually draining. It was, it was actually causing a lot of stress and anxiety. Uh, and when I was just in that mindset of just force, I'm just going to every day, I'm just going to just pound it and just do, you know, whatever, you know, I'd get results, you know, but the thing of it is, it's so unsatisfying because like you, you'd get to these milestones where it's like, you know, for me and just like music, it was like always wanting to have that, like you made it feeling or like that moment. And, and every time I'd set these goals, I'd be like, okay, well, if I got something on the radio, you know, then... Um, then I'd have that feeling, you know, and then it would happen. You know, I ended up getting a track, I, you know, spun on like a radio station that I listened to, you know, growing up. I always thought it'd be cool to, um, you know, hear some music that, you know, I, you know, from a band or, you know, anything that I was in on the radio. And I ended up doing like a self-produced album. You know, I did all the instruments and sang and played guitar and, um, yeah, you know, all this I mean, produced it, mixed it, mastered it. You know, I sent it into them, and they ended up, you know, spinning the track and like, you know, sitting in my kitchen, you know, with the radio on. I was able to listen to them on my tracks. You know, and it was pretty sweet um, at the time. But then shortly after that, it was just like, well, but that that, that wasn't that wasn't it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it kept pushing you know, these different milestones, in like, um, you know, the entire experience. You know, it was like. Oh well, if I just got something on maybe like a TV show or video game, you because know, I was doing music licensing and publishing, and you know I was like just producing, and and like um, you know that would happen, and then you know it'd be like a the same thing, a temporary, um, a temporary you know feeling, followed by like a crash, and then like you know setting a new carrot, <laughs> then it was like it ended up getting to a point, you know I was like. Oh, if I just got, you know, some music with like a pub, a, a PMA, which is like a production music association library, you know, publisher, uh, then I'd, you know, feel like, you know, it's like reach some sort of milestone. And then like I ended up, um, you know, that ended up happening. I ended up getting, uh, you know, basically in touch with a, uh, the guy, a guy that owns a, uh, a PMA, um, exclusive publishing thing. And, um, yeah, after um, you know signing the paperwork and everything, there was like again that same kind of feeling of like, oh, you know, um, this is it. You know, that finally, you know, it finally manifested. You know, I wouldn't have said manifested back then. It just like, oh, it finally happened. And then you know, I got the same type of thing where it's just like, I didn't even give them any music. <laughs> it was just like the goal of just getting signed with them. And then I did get signed with them, and I just didn't even ever pursue it because the the goal was just to be signed. You know that was the, like the that was like the the milestone. And then it ended up getting up you know, to a point where it's like, okay, well, you know, if I get some music in, um, maybe something like a TV show my family watch, uh, then I'd get that feeling same thing it ended up happening you know i got some music in a like a tv show called forged in fire which i think is on the history channel it's on i think hulu and netflix too and like um you know same thing you know it was, it was like uh, but recognizing the pattern of like trying to get that sense of accomplishment or whatever from the outside from the external was that it was actually the root issue and trying to do it just through just uh self maybe is one way to describe it and you know, kind of just doing it on your own you know it, it was like a, always this like kind of a letdown and you know what i found is as you start to to go within and realize that those feelings like that success um that abundance that prosperity hell you know all these like kind of um states of consciousness um that i was seeking out here actually originate on the inside first and it's like the more that you're able to maybe hold on to that success mindset or that abundance mindset regardless of what's going on out here you know it starts to then push out and then and then uh it starts to come together as your faith in that it's already happened starts to cement more and more into uh, your consciousness and uh, you start to realize how you know, ultimately the only 
real force uh, is God and that God gives these opportunities and that God's a giver, you know, and then a lot of ways we're, we're receivers. And, and as you become one, you know, as, as you start to do it, like in your own walk, where you start to realize that giving to others, you, you actually gain something from that, you know, it feels good, you know, you, you vibe in that, that energy, you know, it's like you want to feel like maybe abundant, maybe some, some situation crops up where, you know, you're in a position to maybe give somebody some money or something, and that act of giving, um, you, you kind of, uh, you vibe in a different state, you know, where it's like you feel uh, abundant by being able to provide that. You know, and ultimately God provided you the, the means to do it anyway. And so it's like shifting that mindset from, you know, anything outside of yourself, um, having some sort of like a, uh, you know, because like there's like a thing in music where, you know, people have a misconception where there's like um, maybe like these gatekeepers, you know, where, um, you know, and, and that I've heard that in many different uh, industries and, you know, walks of life, you know, where you know, have these, these gatekeepers or whatever. You know, but you know, ultimately, that, that again starts putting putting the, the power away from you and and towards these other people. You know, in in so many different cases, where um, you know, from like playing guitar and stuff like that, you know, it can be kind of competitive in this weird way. Music is kind of competitive in a weird way. Um, you know, skateboarding is kind of competitive, but you know, I, I always you know, kind of look look back at like skateboarding as having a lot more love. Um, you know, mainly because everybody so um, wants you to like land the trick. You know, it's like everybody wants you to do it. You know, if you're going for like maybe some stairs or something, you know, I, I, people I used to skate with, we'd be like, you know, like three or four of us. You know, it was a big group. You know, but like, um, you know, maybe you go for something, but everybody wants you to get it. <laughs> you know, because because it's just rad. You know, it's it's like um. And, and I'm like kind of pushing things in a different way. And like when you finally get it, you know, everybody's just as excited for you in a lot of different ways as you are for yourself. And there's a lot of like love in that way. And, and like the thing I was like kind of found, it's like, um, you know, it also starts to run in a uh, reverse order, you know. And, and so like when it comes to, um, you know, negatives, uh, maybe, um, you know, fears or any of these types of limiting beliefs, you know, you have the external maybe validation, and and it's always like, oh, um, you know, if it wasn't for these people, the you know, these whatever situations, these whatever, then I could be happy. Or you know, if people could experience the reality that I experience, they wouldn't be acting like this. You know, pointing outside of yourself uh, to the they out there. You know, but when you start to shift that mindset from being like a victim to being um, maybe helpless to realizing that the power is within you. And as you change your assumptions and change your thoughts about, you know, others, you know, look at everybody as being, you know, doing the best that they can at whatever state of consciousness they're actually sitting in, um, you know, and, and not looking at anybody as doing anything, um, you know, that you need to, uh, you know, almost like, um, you, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to describe because it's like, um, you know, with what's going on in the illusion, you know, at the moment, you know, you have two sides, you know, both of which, you know, you know, can be looked at as doing things that are unconscious, you know, but then also, you know, both sides could be doing things that are conscious, you know, a lot of it has to do with personal judgment. And the thing of, uh, you know, kind of walking and, you know, trying to get more and more like unconditionally loving is to to take the fear out of the equation and and listen, be able to listen to both sides. Because, you know, in in this kind of spiritual quantum uh, reality, which, you know, probably triggers a lot of like materialists and stuff like that, which all I can say is just do it for yourself and test to, you know, ask, believe, receive law of attraction type vibe it's all biblical you know and and and, and look into the like dr joe dispenza you know, he's a quantum um you know quantum healer or whatever you know or uh, tom campbell you know his big toe theory and test it for yourself you know and and um you know start going down a path of like uh consciousness and and um trying to seek truth because you know, what you seek you'll end up finding eventually you know, and, and, the, and the more you start doing it the more 
it starts hitting your radar faster and faster and and the more you get out of like um you know waiting you know it's like oh it's going to take weeks it can happen now you know it's like it all kind of depends on where your head's out you know and and like i said test it for yourself don't just take people's opinions or um testimonials when you can do it for yourself you know that that at the end of the day really all you know all you have to convince is yourself you know be the change you know and ultimately um you know realize you're a lot more powerful than you have been trained programmed um you know whatever's to think that you are you know you know, but test it for yourself and, and and ultimately you know change the inner and watch how the outer starts to cement to that new belief or assumption there's so many times you know when when maybe some external event happens immediately the past programming wants to come in and react to it and in a lot of ways recreate the same um, situation you know that may have caused pain in the past you know where you now all of a sudden your guards up because you got triggered and now the past mind you know the past consciousness the egoic consciousness of separation and fear wants to come in and 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 keep you safe you know from danger but a lot of times that danger is an illusion you know but as you start to build your faith and you start to shake free of a lot of these victim mentalities you almost start taking on the problems that are going on in your space and not blaming others but looking directly in the mirror and seeing you know is this reinforcing a maybe a, a mindset a thought pattern some programming that's now getting pushed out in my own space test it drop it you know drop a mindset you know let go of something maybe that's not serving you at all you know like a victim mentality does not serve you you know because you're ultimately not a victim you know you might have things happen you know there's plenty of things that happened to me you know i could probably write a book you know on the bullshit that i've had to kind of deal with you know but even so it, it all i look at everything as leading to this moment right now and without that you know i wouldn't be in this position where i'm at now you know so you know a lot of this inner work you know maybe it has to do with like maybe forgiving you know maybe some past wrongs getting uh, a new kind of perception of why something happened to begin with you know and looking at your own self to see you know is this my fault did i do this you know own your bubble you know own everything that's going on around you you know as being symbolic on some level you know don't just sit there and blame others really look at your own mindset and and see how much that could play a role in what's happening in your space you know a lot of people don't want to do that you know but i'm you know i'm telling uh, you who's ever listening it's like it's very helpful to do that because once you take ownership of everything then you have the power to change everything too by changing yourself you know and and you know once you do that you know, you start to see it more and more and more and it just becomes more and more fun in your space as you start to realize you know everything is possible there is no gatekeepers you know god gives you opportunities and as your faith increases in this reality of you know a friendly universe you know the kingdom of god the more you will see it you know and, and like um you know you people could be very very triggered by that with all the, the the you know surrounding chaos of the illusion but through that chaos you know so much of it you know doesn't even need to be you know so much of it has to do with people going out here you know instead of you know just going within you know the more you're out here and something happens that causes suffering and pain you know the more you stay out here it almost keeps repeating that cycle until you start to associate fear suffering with who you are not you know and going within to to find out who you actually are you know if you don't go within you go without 
you know, and so, you know, looking at a lot of these, you know, case studies and, and stuff like that that are out there, you know, change your inner and, and watch how these new things start to hit your radar. You know, it's like when I first started doing these things, you know, I thought, no, this is, is maybe borderline, you know, crazy, you know. And, and like, I never heard any of the stuff like this. This stuff I was, like, picking up just from personal experience. And it was just like, you know, this is so crazy. And, you know, what, what's been, what, uh, you know, wild in a way is, is not only the present, but then a, as this uh, path has continued to kind of just be laid out, then, then get introduced to all of these different maybe books that are, like, you know, 100 years old. They're talking about the exact same thing, you know, that people have known, you know, and maybe has been hidden from, you know, people that weren't ready, you know, but it exists. And there's, and there's story after story, you know, of how, you know, what you ask for, what you believe you receive, get into the Bible with, you know, with maybe perception, you know, of everything that's, that's in there is happening now in states of consciousness and you might be aligned to one of those states of consciousness and see what um what was the advice given <laughs> you know a lot of people in the truth community it feels like that i've um you know maybe listened to you know it feels like a lot of job <laughs> and it's like um you know if you look at that state of consciousness where it's like, oh, you know, you haven't done anything and like all of these like external things are being taken away and it's like, feel like, you know, it's one thing after another and after another. And it's like, oh, what's wrong with these people? What's going on? I'm not doing anything wrong, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's like, what was the moral of the story of Job? If you look at that as a state of consciousness, you know, things turned around for Job when he started to pray for his friends. You know, so, you know, you can start to, to get different insights about, you know, states of consciousness, you know, through, through reading the Bible with the right set of eyes and ears and, and listening to different things. And, you know, ultimately go within, let the Spirit teach you what these things mean, you know, and develop that, that uh, connection, with, uh, you know, with God, with uh, infinite intelligence is like a label I've heard with you know, consciousness. You know, it doesn't feel like God really cares what, what kind of label. You know, it's more about the intent, you know, and, and what you're what you're actually trying to, to do, you know, and, and that's something that you can prove for yourself, you know, as you, you know, ultimately address these different fears that are popping into your space addressing these different concerns you know when you have these external events when, when you see um, maybe chaos out here you know it doesn't need to affect you you can stay in perfect peace right now but it sounds like somebody's here so I'm gonna jump into the chat see if anybody's in here what's going on Chappelle uh, Pia appreciate you you being here uh, let me jump into the other chat because I can't scroll up. No, uh, if I can figure out how to do that. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it looks like Chappelle and Peter are here. Appreciate y'all being here. And um, <laughs> Pia says, "Own your bubble." <laughs> Chappelle says, "Her bubble is owned." <laughs> well, that's good. You know, I'm, I'm glad to see that your bubble, um, yeah, that you're owning your space. You know, um, hopefully, you know, as you're, you're doing that more and more, and you start seeing it more and more. I see it all the time. You know, and so I want to share that with you guys so that you don't, you know, get stuck in some of these, like, what about the day? What about the, you know, you're supposed to walk in victory. You know, Jesus already won. Um, you know, the only thing that, that people, that, that, you know, ultimately everything is going according to God's plan. Even the people in separation that, that believe the lie and they can't create anything that isn't somehow fulfilling part of, like, God's plan. It's kind of funny, actually. You know, one of the things people maybe don't realize, you know, it seems to me like God has a big sense of humor <laughs> and is funny. And, like, um, 
Yeah, every time I think about that, you know, you get that little little download. It's like I invented humor, <laughs> and so you know, now. Yeah, but I'm gonna to probably bounce here. Um, I like to do these quote unquote um, random, you know, Bible verses. You know, nothing's random. You know, God's 100% in control of literally everything. He speaks to us in the moment, and I just want to give him a chance to speak to you, who's ever listening now. Let's see what he's got to say. Isaiah 29:13 Wherefore the Lord said for as much as the people draw near with uh, near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me but have removed their heart far from me and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men Well there you go and um, other than that I like to to wrap these things up with the um, you know, reading the gospel. Um, I know not everybody reads the Bible. I recommend you do read the Bible. You know, and I'm well aware of like, um, you know, some like the man is taught the uh, like the Mandela effect stuff, and you know, when it comes to the Bible, you know, but you know, ultimately, uh, you know, look at it all as just being a spiritual book. You know, that that's appl- uh, applicable <laughs> to what's going on in your in your space right now. Um, and, and and dig into it for yourself and see what's actually in there. You know, there's a lot, you know, when it comes, you know, especially to, like, um, you know, manifestations and spiritual things, spiritual gifts, you know. You know, Jesus said everything that he was doing we could do too. And so, um, you know, you know, just build your faith ultimately. But, like, um, you know, you know, dig into it for yourself though. But, you know, this is the gospel uh, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preach unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, lest ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. You know, believe that. That's the truth. And um, you're saved. Ask Jesus to save you, and he will. You know, God is love, and God loves you. You know, it's a new life is for everybody. It's for you. You know, it's, all you have to do is ask, and, you know, it's yours. It's freaking fun. You know, um, yeah, but I highly suggest you do. You know, sorry for the dis- distraction. <laughs> you know, but, like, um, yeah, it's only ever now, so... Yeah, enjoy your new new life now. Just get on it. And um, yeah, with that being said, um, you know, thanks everybody for liking, sharing, commenting, disliking, you know, whatever. You know, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, other than that, you know, thanks everybody for uh, vibing with me and have a good rest of your now. <laughs> and uh, God bless.